A long holiday weekend didn't result in big box office numbers. Our film critic Will Loper checks out the weekend's new releases and if any of them are even worth your time. It's review roundup time as I take a look at three new releases that opened wide over Thanksgiving weekend and struggled at the box office. Disney's Strange World, the cannibal romance Bones and All, and Steven Spielberg's latest, The Fablemans. We are clearly in uncharted territory. First up, the newest animated adventure from Disney titled Strange World. Our entire world is in grave danger. I want you to come with me on an expedition. I'm not my father. An adventuring father, voiced by Dennis Quaid, goes missing for 25 years until he's found by his son, Searcher, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Dad? Dad? Grandpa? I'm a grandpa. The animation is gorgeous, and the creature creations are a marvel to look at. However, it's the script that struggles in this latest Disney outing. Story beats are delivered clunkily, and the themes of sons feeling abandoned by or unable to live up to their fathers isn't fully fleshed out in a satisfying way. Didn't see that coming. Strange World is still worth seeing for the adventure aspect. Just wait until it's streaming on Disney+. Plus. Also new in theaters is the second cannibal film of the year after Hulu's Fresh, the film Bones and All. Dad! You didn't. When the cops get here, you have to be good and gone. Taylor Russell stars as Marin, who finds herself on the outskirts of society for her cravings, until she finds kinship with a fellow eater named Lee, played by Timothy Chalamet. Are there lots of us? I don't actually meet many others. This is not a movie for the squeamish, although the gross parts are fairly brief and few in quantity. The movie handles it all in a realistic rather than stylized manner and shines most as an Outsiders on the Run film in the vein of Bonnie and Clyde, just with less guns and more digesting. You look like the kind that's convinced himself he's got this under his thumb. But you... Bones and all is well shot, acted, and engaging, and is worth watching for those willing to stomach it. Finally, also opening is the autobiographical film from legendary director Steven Spielberg, The Fablemans. Movies are dreams that you never forget. Spielberg uses filmmaking as therapy to work through how he grew up using filmmaking as therapy to work through his parents' divorce and bullying. You can't just love something, you also have to take care of it. It's more important than your hobby. Now I know what you're thinking. When has Spielberg ever touched on themes of divorce or relationships with fathers in his movies, except for E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, War of the Worlds, Get a Hug, Catch Me If You Can, or Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh. In any case, The Fablemans shows the power of having a creative outlet when one's one? life turns upside down and has several of the most powerful emotional gut punches of the year as young Stevie, uh, I mean Sammy, deals with turmoil. I don't know what to do anymore. The Fablemans is absolutely worth seeing and may be the current frontrunner for Best Picture. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. It looks so good. Sold. Yeah, you want to see, yeah, that. I see that. Yeah, I, I've read that when uh, Steven Spielberg saw Michelle Williams as his mom, he just burst into tears. Really? Yeah. That's great.